It's your boy, Picante Nino, coming at you with another video. This video is going to be uh, something that's going to be just taken of one unedited. Like, obviously, there's going to be certain edits for like, intro and outro, but uh, yeah. So today's video is going to be about um, 1v1 on Awakened Zerker. You know? So there's a lot of classes in the game. I'm just going to give my honest opinion on how Zerker, Awakening Zerker specifically, right? Uh, compares to all the other classes. So I do got um, a list of classes, and we're gonna do like a little tier list to like get. Uh, another update too is that um, I do stream. I will try to stream every day on Fridays around what's that called? Around let's see, nine p.m. Eastern time, around that time. So around. 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be streaming on Twitch. I will link my Twitch down below. If you guys want to talk to me, uh, there is a Zerker Discord. You could just at me at, at Picante Nino or at Lunic. Um, whichever one is fine. I should pop up in that Zerker Discord. I will also link that down below. So let's uh, jump into the video. Um, yeah, let's do that. So, I have this tier list, and we're just gonna go one by one, unedited. Just, uh, be my honest opinion. Okay. So, right here, we're gonna start with Warrior. Um, Warrior, 1v1 against Warrior kind of seems fair, in my opinion. The reason why I say fair is that whenever you lose to a Warrior, you really don't feel like you lost because they're, they're, they're a better class than you. They're, you really know why you lost. Whenever you fight against a warrior, you know why you lost. It's more like you held that super armor too long or he got behind your frontal. There's no like, oh snap, what just happened? I don't understand. You know, I feel like warrior is the most fair class you could possibly fight as a zerker. Uh, one tip against the zerkers is that whenever a warrior has their block up, and this is going to be a recurring tip for most classes, especially iframe classes, Whenever a warrior tries to engage on you, you want to do your Feral Stampede because your Feral Stampede hits like about three character models away from you. So like, let's see, like one character model, two, and three. So like, it hits about three character models away from you. No, that's not a good example, but that's how you usually catch people. You, you don't really need to be that close for a Feral Stampede stun to go on. So next class, we're going to try to get through these kind of quickly because there is like a crap ton of classes. Ranger, Ranger, uh, Ranger feels kind of in the category of fair for their favor, or it's just a hard as fuck fight. Um, I'm going to put it in fair in their favor. Like if you have an equally skilled Ranger and an equally scared, skilled Zerker, I feel like it should be a fair fight. But it's in their favor because you know they have some iframes and they're kind of they're more quicker than you are when it comes to the micro spacing. But when it comes to like the overall uh, movement, I think Zerker wins on that part. But when it comes to like the micro spacing and the, the the quick grabs, I feel like Ranger is fair in their favor. I did fight a couple of good Rangers and it can go up to just hard as fuck or to basically unwinnable if the Ranger knows what they're doing. But if they're both equally matched and equally skilled, I feel like it's fair, but slightly in their favor. Okay, so now we talk about Sork. I know you guys are all about Sorks, right? I know Zerkers hate them. I personally do hate Sorks myself. Um, I feel like the fight's unwinnable. The fight is unwinnable against the Sork. I know Sorks don't have that much damage to like keep you in check and to like play you know, more passively and more defensively. But the thing is, is that Sorks just have iframes, and whenever I lose against a Sork, it isn't just more like, oh, I know why I lost. It's more like, man, you just spammed iframe, and there's really no counterplay to Sork as a Zerker, other than you throw out a lucky grab, and you magically hit it when they're lingering iframes into other skills. Uh, one tip against Sorks is that you could just, since they have no grab, just take advantage of it. 
do this, you know, and then spam your your 10% BSR, and then just uh, just keep on lingering super armors, you know. Don't throw out frontals, you'll get punished pretty hard if you throw out frontals. But yeah, just keep on, you know, holding down your, your super armors, just wait, just waste their stamina. That's all you gotta do. That's the only counterplay Zerker has against the Spark. just waste their stamina, rotate super armors. If you land the slow on them, magically if you land the slow on them, you go in and you just you just go, just go, just go, and then I'm pretty sure you still might lose, but it's kind of an unwinnable fight. It's more like you, you're just doing the best you can. Okay, now here's another one. Zerker versus Zerker. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in fair. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't matter which Zerker versus Zerker. Uh, whenever you start a fight versus a Zerker, most of you guys, this is this is the traditional way of starting a fight as a Zerker. Both of you guys start off a Lava Piercer. Whoever does Lava Piercer first is at disadvantage by a lot. So it's more about the beginning of the fight more than the end of the fight against Zerker. Because I know 90% of the fights start off with this, and then usually with one of these. Versus a uh, Succession Zerker, kind of the same thing. Whoever uses Lava Piercer first, kind of is at a huge disadvantage for that engage. So usually, like, whenever I do Lava Piercer first, I disengage with the Feral Stampede to keep the fight up. If you already got past the beginning phase of the fight as a Zerker versus Zerker, the first one to land a slow and keep up the slow stack is also the one who stays on top of the fight. So those are some tics, tips to fight against another Zerker. And honestly, if you're fighting another Zerker, your boys, make sure you give them a good fight, give them a high five, a slap on the butt. You know, you, you guys are playing Zerker, you know, Zerker love. Okay, so we're going down the list. Tamer. Ooh, Tamer. Tamer, I'm gonna say, is unwinnable. Um, I know that it, it, I'm, I'm leaning between like a very hard fight or an unwinnable fight. I'm going to put Tamer as an unwinnable fight because they have a lot of iframes and they're, they're honestly just the best 1v1 class in the game. I, in my opinion, Tamer is the best 1v1 class in the game. So the reason why Tamer is hard or unwinnable is that A, they have a lot of iframes, B, their micro spacing is good. Uh, they spam a lot of iframes. They have a lot of good catches. Excuse me. They have a lot of good catches and like whenever you do get them in a combo, their dog is always like just nibbling at you. Every single time that dog like bites at you while you're doing a combo, like you get stunned. You get stunned. So you really can't full combo a ninja. You can't even full combo a Sork either. You have to like half combo them just to make sure that they don't get up because Tamer and Sorks can get up the so iframes. As a Zerker, we get knocked down. We don't have any iframes to cancel our get up animation. Sorks and Tamers, they do. So that means they get up faster. So that means you have to cut your combos a little bit short so you can just keep up the fight instead of just being comboed outright whenever you overextend the combo. So yeah, be very careful about full comboing a Tamer or a Sork. Next one, Musa. Musa! I hate fighting this class, dude. It's not necessarily it's a hard fight, it's more like it's an annoying fight. They're like F-150s. They're they're just they're just going and they're zooming and I don't know what they're trying to play, but like whoever plays Musa and thinks they're good at Musa, like it's it's a frustrating fight. It's a frustrating fight. I'm not gonna talk smack about people who play Musa. It's just the play style is different. Musas have all this space to run away. All this space. So the more space, the less space, the better for you, but I think it's a fair fight. I think it's a fair fight. It's just that you really have to mess up against them. Musa is very vanilla when it comes to fighting. They run away, they come in, they poke at you. Okay, they poke at you and then they try to get a stun at you with the bow. And then they go in and then they try to hit your back because they're faster than you. So Musa, I think it's a fair fight. Uh, same thing as with Musa, just rotate your super armors. Rotate your super armors. Keep on rotating them. Keep on rotating them. Keep on rotating them. Okay, so now we're into Meiwa. Meiwa. I would say Meiwa is about the same thing as a Musa. Literally the same thing. I think Meiwa is more dangerous than a Musa because they have a lot more ways to get behind you to actually get damage through. So, yeah. 
Okay, so now we're on to Valk. I'm gonna... I have to uh, scroll down a little. Okay. So, now we're on to Valk. I feel like Valk is a winnable fight. I feel like Valk is either between fair for you or winnable. Valks don't have that much movement speed, and then whenever they do try to do one of their big PP moves, you just go up to them and grab them. If you slow a Valk, I know it's really hard to slow a Valk because they have, you know, 360 block and so on and so forth, but their movement's not so good. As a, war as a Zerker, I'm just going to say it's fair in your favor. Because I have met some good Valks that is just like, it's not 100% winnable all the time. So like these, these last two rows, you know, winnable and easy peasy win. This means like you win like a good 80% of the time. And this means you win a good 100% of the time. This means you win a good 60 to 70. And then this means it's 50-50. So yeah, I think Valk is fair in your favor. Okay, now we're going into Kuno. Kuno is, I wouldn't say it's unwinnable. I would say it's, it's a really hard fight. I would say it's a really hard fight if they're equally skilled. Uh, they don't have that many catches compared to like Ninja. So I'm just going to say that Kuno is a hard, a, a very hard fight. A tip against Kuno, and it's going to be the same thing with Ninja because Ninja's next, is never engage a high frame, especially Ninja or Kuno. You never engage them. Make them engage you. Make sure that they don't know that you're trying to bait them into an engage. If you engage a, a ninja or kuno as a zerker, there is gaps in between your movement, especially when it comes to engage. So you just don't want to risk it. Don't don't risk it. Okay, ninja, ninja. Everyone knows this, man. If you play zerker for like at least two days, um, you're gonna know that ninja is just by far like. Very frustrating. The, the, whenever you face a ninja, you don't expect to win. If you expect to win against a ninja, what is that ninja doing? What do they do? Are they better than you? If you win against a ninja, that means you're at least two times better, two to three times better than that player, skill wise. Ninjas should not lose against Zerkers and, and at all. Like, it, it's so unfair. The block jumps, the massive movements and iframes, the iframe lingers, the amount of catches they have. Zerker, we only have like three or four catches. And what I mean by catches, I mean like stuns that you could throw out that are quick. Ninja has like about seven to eleven. And they're protected. So like, it's really hard to fight against. Super hard. It's unwinnable. Okay, so Witch and Wizard. Um... Witch and Wizard. I'm just going to put these two together. I feel like it's a fair fight in your favor. Actually, I'm just going to put them under winnable. This should be winnable at least 80%. These two should be winnable at least 80% of the time. Because they're, they're casters. They only can move one direction when it comes to iframe. I know that they recently got a buff not too long ago. I say not too long ago. I'm an old player. That they got their iframes, like their teleports, like cooldown reduced. So that means they could iframe more now. The thing is, the thing is, is that there's this thing called a mini map, right? This thing right here that everyone like doesn't look at whenever they PvP. Do you guys look at mini map when you PvP? I do. I don't know if anyone else does, but whenever I'm fighting an iframe class that has only one iframe that goes really, really far, I'm looking at my mini map. I don't even need to know where they're at. I'm looking at my mini map. I don't know if you guys look at your minimap, but I look at my minimap. And if you see a Witch or Wizard teleport, you see their dot before they even, like, render. You know, like, before they even appear there. So that means you could already be on top of them. Just by looking at the minimap. That's all. If they slow stack you, just play passive and just frontal block. If they go in, if they go in, right, and they try to, they try to teleport away from you when they're that close... Rock Smash pulls people out of iframe. Rock Smash only cares about the first few frames of a person's there. So if they're there within the first few frames and then they iframe, most grabs will just miss because they're not there. But Rock Smash would literally pull them back to you after they iframe. That's it. Like, use Rock Smash. Use Rock Smash. Okay. Mystic. Ooh, this one is... Uh... 
I know some really good mystics. Like Damo from Crawling Chaos, he's a really good mystic. I say it's a fair fight, but in their favor. The reason why I say it's a fair fight in their favor is because the number one thing that counters us as Zerkers um, is slows. Slows. And Mystic has a slow and a suction. Suctions do not count as uh, M3. Yeah. It's just the slows and the suction is what really gets you. I say it's a fair fight. Uh, just play your, your neutral correctly. If you get slowed, that's unfortunate. But we do have a tool to counter slows. Um, I'll show you right now. So if you're slowed and you magically find a grab, right? You have a slow, it's ticking down there, right? You try to do the combo, it's like you can't do it because you're slowed. Oh, F and chat, you know? But what's really cool is that you get a slow and you're slowed and then all of a sudden you're just like, okay, elongate it with Corpse Storm. And then if you want to elongate it more, then you you, you, you jump. You hit spacebar when you grab it. You just jump. So those are your two things. So you could just put them together. You could do Corpse Storm and you could do just jump with them. That's it. Like that that should be enough for most uh for most combos. But if you don't, just make sure you uh, engage, disengage if you don't feel too comfortable trying to combo slow. Because if they wake up and you're in mid combo, and that's basically GG. So don't don't risk a get up punish. Do not risk a get up punish. I'll lose you the fight. Let's see. Striker. Striker, I feel like it's a fair fight. I feel like it's a fair fight. Solely because Striker does not have um, blows, but they do have raw damage. And they could build a little bit tanky, so it kind of leans in their favor. But like I fought some strikers, and whenever I get, whenever I die or just one hundred percent get shitted on by a striker, uh, it's more, it's mostly skill issue. It's a skill issue. I don't feel like it's not fair. I feel like it's my fault that I lose against a striker. So I'm gonna put it in under fair. They do a lot of damage. They could get tanky. The thing is, is that whenever I get caught by a striker, it makes sense, and I'm okay with it. And that that's the way how the game goes. Okay, on to Lon. Lon is a hard AF fight. It's not unwinnable, but it's a hard AF fight. The reason why is that Lon has a lot of stiffens that move in a certain direction, similar to our Feral Stampede. But the thing is, is that Lon is the king. I think, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but Lon is the king of getting back attacks where they shouldn't even happen. And you know what we throw out a lot as Zerkers? We throw out a lot of frontals. We throw out a crap ton of frontals, and they're very well-timed frontals. Lana doesn't matter. You throw out a frontal, they're getting through it. They have a lot of protections, and they do just a crap ton of damage. Not to mention, I'm, I'm like specifically avoiding this, but Lan has a range grab. Lan has a range grab. You have to respect it. You have to respect it. Whenever I fight against Lan, I am... Um, only I'm fighting it like if I'm fighting a Sork, but I'm also like very paranoid about that range grab. Once you see the range grab gone, you go in and you play very aggressive. And it's very hard to notice. Like, I wish I had like a replay of it, but just get used to noticing whenever a Lon whiffs their range grab. That's my only tip for that. Okay, Archer. Um, I feel bad for Archer, man. Archer is an easy peasy win. If you're losing against an archer, your your movement has to be. That's the first thing that I say. If you're losing against an archer 90% of the time, or if it's like a 50 50%, you know, like if it's like a 50% you win, 50% you lose against an archer, you really have to like work on your move. I'm sorry, like you just have to work on your move. There are some good archers. Really good archers. The thing is, is that worker. Whenever you're fighting against an archer, you have two ways about fighting uh, uh, fighting against an archer. Be aggressive, be up in their face, and catch them with Feral Stampede whenever they do their little jumps, right? Or you could play the, the range game, right? And you could just hit them with Titan Blow. Like, this move should be nerfed. I feel like this move should be This outranges archer. And it also breaks their block. And you also have health them. So as long as you just, like, stack your 15 or your 15 AP... 
You're 15 AP or 16 AP, right? You just want, want, or if the archer allows you to get this dumping off, whenever you get four of these stomps and stack the crit, then you're just like, want, want, and then you just outright just nuke them from that distance, and they have to engage you because you just your range is so better than theirs. And that's why I say that archer is an easy peasy win. I know that there's some archers that are just nasty with it. The thing is, we're, I'm talking about like equally skilled, um, equally skilled people piloting the class. So, all right, so let's uh, move these up. Um, let's let's do Corsair. Why not? Corsair, I feel like it's a uh, kind of similar. It's a hard AF fight. It's a hard AF fight because they pressure you in weird ways that you're not like. Not a lot of people know how to play or face a good Corsair. Corsairs. They don't want to win immediately, or at least that's from my experience. I don't lose immediately to a Corsair. It's a, it's a slow grind down with your block being just 100% just, just gutted every time with Corsair. And it's really hard to catch them, and they have grab resistance. So whenever you land a slow on a Corsair, just make sure you take advantage of it. They also do have a range grab, but that is very, very slow. So you can punish that if you see a Corsair try to grab. But yeah, it's a hard fight. It's not unwinnable. It's still winnable. It's just that you have to play more perfectly than they do. All right, Hassassin. Yeah, Hassassin's unwinnable. Hassassin is like kind of like a pseudo ninja. I think it's a, it's like exactly like ninja. It's just they don't have block jump. Basically, I'm just I'm just gonna end it right there. Like Hassassin, they have a lot of stuff. They're teleporting around you. They break dance. You know, they they tickle you a little bit and then they just off you. Whenever they want. Uh, Guardian. Guardian, I feel like it's a fair fight, but in your favor. Guardian is slow. They don't have that much movement. Whenever you want to engage in a Guardian, it basically happens. The only thing that kind of sucks about Guardian is that uh, you're, if you're, you're playing against a good Guardian, they're, they're going to have a lot of slows on you. Like, a lot of slows on you. So, you just got to get used to playing slow. And then you're you're obviously doing the same thing to other guardian. You're slowing them in return, which you know that should be your first thing. Is either try to get a, a a catch by a stiffen, or you set up a bunch of slow stacks so you could get the stiffen easier. So yeah, just get used to playing slow, getting played slow on guardian. Okay, Sage, you know, Sage. I would say it's a hard AF fight. They just got damage. They have eye frames hard to like fight against that they're still catchable and you could slow them pretty easily compared to you know these guys on top but sages you could catch it it's just really hard i feel like it's not unwinnable you can still win against the sage but it's kind of hard to okay for the meme for the meme if, if you can't fight a shy don't play zerker um saying this as a joke you get hey we all die to a shy randomly whenever you're in battle no you know it's just it's just the thing you know shies are bloodthirsty but the thing is is that you can still drop kick them to narnia okay drax i say he's a fair fight i don't i don't see anything that's in my favor or in their favor more like their movement's decent our movement's decent their damage is decent our damage is decent i feel like it's, there's nothing to say about drax Whenever I see a Drac, I don't go like, oh, crap, this is going to be a hard fight. Get out your Yu-Gi-Oh! Or I don't go like, man, I'm going to go drink my coffee and just fight this Drac and just have a good time. No, it's a fair fight. Fair fight. Uh, Wusa, I would say it's a fair fight. I would say it's in there. Uh, the new classes are kind of like all over the place. I'm just gonna say Wusa is a fair fight as well. Whenever I see a Wusa, I'm not scared of it. So on and so forth. Megu, this is the day that the Megu got nerfed. Um, so I'm just gonna say it's a hard AF fight uh, because solely because they have that clone stuff and they could avoid you and they have the best movement in the game right now when it comes to mind games and iframes. I feel like they're hard, but the thing is, is that I never like their damage was insane, but the minus forty percent might be enough for them to go from here to down here. So they're they're 
before the nerfs, they were right here. I would say they were even like on their own tier, just up here, just all the way in the abyss that no one else could touch them because their damage was just so so high. But now, like now after the nerfs, they might be you know territory unwinnable or hard. I haven't seen that many Megus in Battle Arena after the nerf, so I'm just gonna put them on hard because usually if it's still good, people will still be playing it. Okay, so DK, um, DK is easily just an unwinnable fight. If you're if you're fighting a DK, you're equal skill. DK is just gonna blow you up. It, you the DK has the iframes, frames and they got the damage to pressure you all day. They got the damage to pressure you all day. And they're just sitting there at the range. If you try to engage them, they just go away. It's really hard to catch a DK. If you could consistently catch a DK, that's their fault and they should get better. If you're getting clapped by a DK every time, of course, it's kind of a skill issue, but it's kind of like, what else can you do? You're doing your best. You're doing your best. The thing is, is that with the Awakening Zerker, the, the skill cap on, on that class is infinite. I feel like it's infinite. The The... The better you are with Zerker, it allows you to deal with stuff like this pretty damn easily. Okay, and I think for the last class, I don't know if I'm missing any classes. Um, I'm guessing you guys will tell me in the comments. I did miss your class, but Nova. I say Nova. There's two Novas. I feel, oh, excuse me. I feel like Nova is a good, is a fair fight. I feel like Nova is a fair fight. Solely because in order for Nova to become really good is that they need to play, what is it, the Awakening where they have the little rapier. And if they have that speed form, yeah, they basically win. But they need to build up to get to that speed. So they're not there just like outright just like in their speed form and just going ham on you. And then with uh, Succession, Nova, they're homies. If you, if, you, if you catch a Nova, they don't have that much movement on uh, Succession Nova. So it's really easy to grab them, right? The, the one caveat with that is that you have to make sure you combo correctly because their little clones or their little like minions are constantly picking at you. So you can't do standard damage combo. You have to do like, you know, protective frontal super armor combo instead of, you know, standard damage combo. So it's kind of like, yeah, I'm slowed and I'm going to get grabbed a lot, but I have the minions to prevent combo. And then the other Nova is like, yes, I'm fast, and I'm just going to delay the fight till I get my speed mode, and then I'm just going to win. So as a Zerker, when you're fighting against Awakening Nova, you have to end the fight really quickly. If not, you get your, your shit wrecked by, you know, their speed form. Against Succession Nova, you know, it's easy to combo them, it's easy to grab them, be all up in their grill, but they're, they're clones. You have to make sure you, you position yourself around the clones to get that clean damage combo off. So yeah, let me um let me disable my my pretty face real quick. And let's see, let me move myself. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom this out and just like put it right here. Uh yeah, we're just gonna put it right here. Oops. So yeah, this is uh This is my tier list of what is winnable and what is not winnable as a Waken Zerker. Uh, screenshot it if you must. Um, if not, like, hopefully this was a fun video. You guys could see my thoughts on all the classes. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna play the outro. I'll just play a random fight or something and, you know, hope to get you guys on Friday when I'm streaming. And, uh, yeah. I'm back. Start making more Zerker videos. Be on the lookout. Thanks.